After you clean your wheels and your tires, that's when you want to go ahead and clean your exhaust tips. Now you want to take a look at what kind of exhaust tips you have first. First, on the Porsche, these tips are either anodized, painted, or powder coated. Now, on the SRT here, what we've got is stainless exhaust tips. Stainless exhaust tips are way more common. Now let's say you have a pickup truck with a factory stock exhaust and all it is is a galvanized pipe coming out the back of your vehicle. At that point, what you can use to clean that is even simpler. You can just use 4 aught steel wool and our all-purpose cleaner. Now, talking about all-purpose cleaner, we actually have two. We have an eco all-purpose cleaner and we have our standard all-purpose cleaner. If we're concerned about the finish on something, say, as delicate as this Porsche, we might want to go ahead and use the eco APC. So first thing I want to do, I want to take it and rinse it off a little bit. Rinse those tips and then take a little bit of the eco APC and give those a blast. I'm gonna go ahead and use the mini barrel brush. And what I wanna do is I wanna go around the outside of these tips all the way so that I can get all of the soot and exhaust crud off of the outside of the tip. Then once I get the outside of the tip done, only then do I wanna go back into the bucket and then get the inside of the tips knocked out. Oh yes, that looks great. It's such a huge difference, especially if your car is a performance car all right, so now I've got the outer edges of the exhaust tips cleaned, and I've also got the insides of the tips cleaned. Now, I guarantee you that I've missed a little something, especially between those tips. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the lug and trim brush, and I just wanna get right in here. I know that I could not have gotten up all the way in there with the barrel brush. All right, and after hitting those, Go ahead and rinse. A little bit more. I'm not looking for almost clean. I'm looking for all the way clean. So let me go ahead and hit that one more time. These have definitely not been done for a while. Now, if your exhaust tips have not been done for a while, you might wanna do the same thing that I just did. Hit them twice, make sure you get all of that soot out of those tips. When it comes to cleaning your stainless steel exhaust tips, they're a little bit more bulletproof. First, I'm gonna rinse them off. Then, take a little bit of our all-purpose cleaner, blast them down real good, and then I'm gonna use the mini barrel brush, I'm gonna go ahead and blast it a little bit as well. And then I'm going after this sucker. Oh gosh, that's beautiful. As far as your eye can see up the tip, that's how far you wanna clean. You don't wanna have any black soot hiding out deep inside your exhaust tips that make your, your exhaust look bad. So this little pro process right here will get your tips looking great. Now, there's not enough clearance across the top here of the tip. So I'm only gonna be able to get the inside of the tip around the bottom of the tip, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the wheel cleaning brush. Look at all that soot coming out of there. And I'm gonna be able to get up in the top, okay? So this is how I'm gonna get the top of that tip all the way cleaned out. Now sometimes you'll notice that you just can't get all of the baked on carbon off of the outside of the tip. Now, these are relatively new, and I think this car has relatively low miles, honestly. So, on this car, it's not necessary. These cleaned up great. Now, if you still do have a whole bunch of baked on nasty carbon, you're gonna take a little bit of this stuff right here, which is called 4 aught steel wool. Now, that's Hashtag 0000, zero, zero, zero four-aught steel wool. If you use three-aught steel wool, you're gonna scratch these things to death. So you wanna use four-aught steel wool, and then you just go real gently over the edge here, spray a little bit of all-purpose cleaner into it, and then knock it out. Again, that's not gonna be going on on this vehicle, but if you've got it, that's how to fix it. How's this for a nice little before and after?